This is the Robin Joe Show. Basically, we're going to do this every week. It's going to be live right here on robinjoshow.com. Eric, the anchor is asking, do you think the podcast will make it a year? A year from now, will you still be doing radio on WBAL? But what I'm saying is it's in your house. It's part of your furniture now. It's yeah. in the studio. It's not at the – this is a closet. <laughs> Rob, we'll give you a million dollars if Kim Kardashian's marriage doesn't last five years. But – if it does last five years, you get killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take the million dollars. I like to say that I have complete disdain for so much of the entertainment industry. How many NBA players do you think this guy could name? Don't say anything. <laughs> you were in a production of Hello, Dolly, Joe. That's correct. I was. I, in I high didn't school. really want to talk about that. <laughs> You're going to revisit that. <laughs> it's not your fault. I know. It's not your fault. Don't f with me. It's not your fault. <laughs> Seattle State Statistics Association. That's the hardest f***ing sentence I've ever pronounced. <laughs> what is scarier to you? A werewolf or a vampire? You're in the Middle East. One of them breaks into your room. <laughs> Why don't See, you have access to Skype? I'm just out of curiosity. I'm on vacation I, in the Middle East, and I might be dead by the end of the trip. Listen, so I don't even know stop. if I'm going to fucking live or not. Listen. You know that lady who just got her face ripped off by the chimp? That lady could not do comedy. If she wrote jokes, Rob would tell them, right? You'd be willing to. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just I'm curious. <laughs> Why would she be that funny? <laughs> When I suggest that I want to talk about sports, he is so angry. He's Lenny Kravitz. Because when you want to make <laughs> make a glass of cool, you want to throw in a little bit of Jew. <laughs> he didn't like the food, so I get to listen to him go in the bathroom and take an Albert Hainsworth size dump. If he's in there with diarrhea, you probably didn't choose a very good restaurant. I always wanted a race car bed growing up. And I never had one. This isn't real. No, I really want one. Why are you going to say his name? He asked you for your opinion. Mike Finanza. Is he a good comic? I don't think he's a good comic. See, the whole point <laughs> of me bringing you involved in this is so I don't have to say I don't think he's a good comic. You just totally made me say that. Well, Robbie hates Steve Jobs. So basically, well, you you're saying you're happy he's dead. Is no, that what you're saying? I'm not saying that I'm happy. Do you want to open up his coffin? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay. suggesting... I live in their house. And, and you watch I, the baby? He's going to be a nanny. Hold on. Are you dead serious? <laughs> I am dead serious. We'll be on WBA. But it's kind of exciting. It's our chance. Hopefully we do a good job and it, and it turns into something permanent. If not, we can come right back here and talk to uh, Eric the actor. Oh, no. I legitimately thought that they would hear our show and say, wow, that was really good. And then decide that they wanted more of that. Whatever. But we agree that they don't want Rob. They asked more than you, correct? I mean, I saw some names. I didn't recognize them. None of those names is Rob Mayer. But every show, I'm going to have you called and I'm going to spend an hour with you at the end of every show. <laughs> yeah. I want to call in to basically save the show. I want to meet a random guy like Nikolai Volkov. So what That's you're... to meet a celebrity. The point is, is that I basically nailed this broadcast and I've heard absolutely nothing from it. So he tried to downgrade the show we did in order to prove his point that the show they want is the right show. So now I wonder whether or not he understands what good content is. Hopefully he never hears this. Unfortunately, someone from BAL is 100% on the chat because they wrote the name of the producer in the chat. Well, I guess the idea of that not getting out is over with. <laughs> I can do Tuesday and Wednesday. And he said, and I think this is in response to him hearing what I did on the show, I know how important your internet show is to you. Don't worry about it. It's 9.30 on WBAL. Joe Robinson with you here tonight. Uh, right now, we have Scott Wyckoff with the news. It was just ruled a homicide. <laughs> I do believe I've been fired by BAL. <laughs> I found a magnum-sized condom in here one time. No, you was, didn't. Yes, I did. 
If she breaks up with you because she hears something on here, where would you go if she kicked you out? I'd go to your house, probably. Would you? I mean, I'd tell you, well, you could live with me. Okay. Like at this nudist thing. It's kind of funny. We got a standing ovation uh, in the last place. No, <laughs> you're like, it's okay. Stay seated, sir. Fine. <laughs> just stand up. <laughs> that she membered. Are there a lot of those, Robbie? We should make that a weekly thing. Have Tim do some production and give it a cool name or something. Something like this. Language Mangler of the Week. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that. Can you get a speech pathologist, see if she's willing to come on? And Robbie, can you pull some clips? By the way, safe word is, in fact, again tonight. Plover proliferate. He retreated my cheat. Googer. Flillage. Kessel. Mussolini. Dorf. Is it possible, Dr. Donna, that I am so much smarter than other people? And I have more to say. My brain moves faster than my mouth can keep up with. I'm That's smart. not possible, right? I think you're kind of on the right track. In the yes. Sense. And the challenge is, can Robbie book any of these 300 to be on our show? Number 230 is LeVar Burton. Why is LeVar Burton in the top 300? <laughs> no idea. She has 1.7 million followers. It's not going to happen. If the next week we have Veronica Belmont as a guest, then case closed. The argument is pointless. You're not going to get her, and then we're going to be right. Again, you failing is inevitable. You will not do this. All right. We are very excited to have on for the second time. What's up, Veronica Belmont? Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me back on. That's surreal that your mother is hanging out with LeVar Burton. What would you do if you went home one weekend and he was there hanging out? And LeVar out? Was my new dad. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't say that, but... This is creepy now, guys. It's gotten really <laughs> creepy. They're trying to do this reality show about a newspaper. He thinks I'd be good on the reality show, but in order to be on the reality show, I'd have to be working for the paper. You really have no journalistic background, right? I have some blogs that are kind of funny. He's hardly paying me anything, so it's not like there's any risk. What are you getting paid? How much? $35 an <laughs> The guy said that all the other columnists work for free. Okay. And I said, that's nice. I like $35 a column. And he came back and said, we can offer you nothing per column. <laughs> He started a website with uh, financial backers. So I see him Wednesday at my open mic. He hands me a check. Again, I'm due 480. Take out the four. You got $80. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, do you have to do any of Robbie's ex wives listen to the podcast? I mean, he has so many ex wives, just mathematically, some of them <laughs> have to listen. I mean, be, yeah. it would be impossible. <laughs> For none of them to listen. He's the Elizabeth Taylor of internet radio producers. This right. girl, I guess, served them a Grand Slam breakfast, and now <laughs> she's got the morning show. Home of the world-famous Captain Crunch French Toast. How many times y'all been on TV? We should keep track of how we do in gambling this year. Ryan Brushwood, you are the man. You guys are the best. Thanks so much for having me on. Thanks. Tell Veronica we said hello. I will. Oh, it, well, uh, just like that, to give one call, oh, well. <laughs> it's so hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. And we do have a Robin Joe show, Andrew, right now. It's $2. <laughs> it's not free. Can you change it to be like $500? <laughs> can you make it a million dollars? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> like the wind was taken out of his sails. And I said, look, Robbie, all the work you do, I'll mention it on the CD. Unless, you know, of course, you don't want your name attached to this. He goes, well, I don't want to be a dick, but, you know, I really don't. You know. <laughs> How could it be worse? I, I I hate to say it, but I don't think it's worse. <laughs> you made it known on the show that you color your hair. What brand? Just for men, medium brown. <laughs> Take my ex-boyfriend, please. Rob is unable to join us because he is entertaining our troops in Japan. In Japan, once you're six years old, you learn every martial art there is. <laughs> Come on. Whitney Houston, you know, she is a perfect candidate for suicide. She's like the end of Judy Garland's career when she's making the tapes. I used to be somebody. <laughs> Plus the wear and tear, he's taking a lot of beatings. He's been in and out of jail, and he's a substance abuser. So Rodney King, that's my third pick. It's a recipe for early death. Michael Chamberlain has a new play out. Robbie, you saw it. Take us through the night. Did your girlfriend go with you, Robbie? What girlfriend? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, uh, wait a minute. She quoted something that I said on this show. Oh, oh, oh that's... You're the one getting in trouble for talking about your girlfriend on this show. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Have you ever made a mixtape for a girl and then 
later on that mixtape made an appearance during an amorous time? No. <laughs> That's weird. You know, I do make extensive song lists that I play on my computer, which definitely have. So you have on your computer a file, a folder, of literally the soundtrack to your lovemaking. Do you mind telling us what happened with your job? Uh, I got fired. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can your new girlfriend get you a job? Where does she work? She is a nurse. Have you considered selling Avon until <laughs> you get back on your feet? Last week, Robbie had no job and no girlfriend. Now he has a new job and a new girlfriend. Probably anyone. Then I go to the back where I'm selling my stuff. And I assume Robbie's going to come over, right? I'm going to meet the girl. And he's just gone. 40 minutes go by. Nothing. I text him. I said, are you still here? He says, I'm at the hotel getting busy. <laughs> oh, okay. If Muggsy Bogues played Brittany Griner today in basketball, he beat her. It'd be like 11 to 1. 11. No way. She yes. would crush Muggsy Bogues. No, no, she wouldn't. Well, Brittany, you heard the clip where we debated who would win, your father or Brittany Griner. <laughs> I did. It was hilarious. My dad and I actually listened to it together, and he thought it was really funny. Did he have any opinions? He agreed. He was like, of course I can beat her. I mean, I might be old, but, you know, I've got this. <laughs> Mike Finazzo, he has a CD out this week. We can have a commercial <laughs> with his CD. Do you think Gosh. he'll appreciate that, or do you think he'll think that we're mocking him? We did mock him, and then it was awkward. <laughs> you seen him yes. since? I saw him after that. He made the point to say that his wife hates me. Um, <laughs> to not be working, and all of a sudden you're recording. I, I didn't say he wasn't working. You're recording a CD at some, you know, on a Thursday night at a bar in front of 50 people. I, I'm not, I'm not here to bash Finazzo. I'm just throwing it out there. So. <laughs> All right. But he does not want to do that. I guess he doesn't want to be part of our show ever again. Uh, so he is declined to do that. We want to play it. We can play it. You're right. We can do whatever we want. I'm not saying we would do it. I'm just saying that we could. Would that be okay I, if I grab some clips from his comedy CD? We had a really nice Facebook conversation. <laughs> and now Robbie's going to try to play his clips just when he doesn't want us to. <laughs> Welcome, Ted Alexandra. What's up, Ted? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. The cow. Does he even ask to not be killed? Funny cow? Yeah. <laughs> he says it in, like, jokes. Like, hey, if I'm dead, who's going to tell you the one about the two chickens that walk into a bar? <laughs> Breaking news. Oh. Veronica Belmont. Robbie's dream woman. Engaged. I wonder if this is her response to Robbie getting a new girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe if she hears about all his love making. Is this going to affect our friendship if I come and do a slack-ass job? It wouldn't, as long as if I fired you, that wouldn't affect our friendship. Would you fire me on the show? Yeah, of course. So are the two longest relationships that you've ever had in your entire life with black women? Yeah, but I mean, this girl was, uh, I mean, she was adopted <laughs> by a white family, so she, you know. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't like, what are you, what are you looked, saying? but I'm just saying, I didn't get the full black experience. <laughs> There was only 18 minutes of music altogether. Sorry. <laughs> I guess you had to play it twice. Here's the deal. If Robbie and his girlfriend break up, he's going to go right back to his house in Little Havana. <laughs> but if you break up, then you're going to be living in my house. Yeah. So, so you definitely don't want that to happen. Yeah, that would be bad. I mean, this is awful. Yeah. You should be doing everything in your power to keep me and my girlfriend together. No, you're right. He doesn't want to be talked about. Mike, Mike has politely asked me if we could dial back the incessant. <laughs> <laughs> sort of stop being funny anyways. I don't agree with that at all. Here is Rob Mayer and Joe Robinson. Good job, Robbie. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the show. Uh, hey, everybody. Our one-year anniversary clap excitement. Excellent little montage. You can say little. Joe, how much harder does he work on the show than we